sayings are, I've got um, the only thing certain in life is death. If you don't live for something, then you'll die for nothing. I've got that on my chest and I've got, um, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I feel no evil. And then money, power, respect, death before dishonor, family first, laugh now, cry later. Which of those do you think is the most powerful for you? Family first. As long as they're smiling and they feel comfortable throughout life, then I'm happy in it. That's just my main target in life, just family. I, don't, I just want to keep my family happy. A lot of people who go into gangs as well, they're, they're probably not getting that support and that emotional feeling from a parent or or from family that are around them at home. So when you go to a gang, I know for a lot of the kids around here, when they go to a gang, they get the sense of belonging. The people at the top will look after the people underneath them because they've got money, they've got connections, they've got the things what these other young people want. It can, it can be your family. If you've got a broken down home and you come from a broken down home and gangs are showing you more love and respect than your family are, you're going to be drawn to gangs, aren't you? That's what made me do it, really. Finding out my missus is pregnant, I thought, I need to fix something now. I've got, I need to set an example. I've got a young person to care for. I need to think about what's best for them and how we're going to make it work. You've got a mad percentage of kids, yeah, running around on the streets, yeah, no role model, or no positive role model, no one to look up to, so to speak, like your father, you should be there, you know what I mean, to teach you what's wrong, what's right, what you can do, what you can't do. To see a gang member with a big chain on and living a life, always eating out at restaurants, places like that, they want to live that, they want to do that. best for him man. All that I can give him and more, you know what I mean? Better than more than what I had it anyway. I mean, I want the best for him bruv. Literally everything. Then they're building us like stuff like BMX tracks and shit like I'm 19 years old turning 20 like I don't want to be riding on no BMX bike and some BMX track, you know what I mean? So fair dues like for the younger population of that area, the younger, younger half, yeah that that could do them some sort of good like it's a little activity, something to keep them occupied in it. But for the rest of us, the older lot What's out here for us, like, what are you doing for us? Where I grew up, it was just, really, it was about sex, sex, drugs and money. But right now, I'd say it's just all about money because what can't you buy with money? Except for, should I say, happiness. Instead of man out here, shot in bare food, you get me? Obviously out on the corner trying to make a living because man ain't got no jobs out here. Like I said, like, why do you think they shot us in the first place? Because they don't want us in the workplace, you get me? Mum would love to see him in a job. Mum would love to see him in a job, really, really would. I hope to work at Roy's Royce, you know. That's why I'd like to work in 10 years time, but I can't guarantee nothing, but that's my, my, that's my main aim. I'm on the enthusiasm course now, and. She's over the moon, like, I'll come home, dinner's ready. Uh, it's, it's a bit different. I'm helping change young people's lives, and the young people I work with, I've seen results from it. I've worked with young people, and I've seen their life change around. What I could tell you is, obviously, I hope it's a bright future, though. Obviously, a future where there ain't none of this unnecessary dramas and bullshit beefs and etc. you know what I mean? Getting harassed by police 24-7, getting Section 18 stopped and searched, like, on a daily basis, you know what I mean? So. Hopefully it's a better future than the one that I've seen. So these guys will make the mistakes but they need to learn from it and they have to realise they've got to put work in, you have to earn, earn things in life. You can't just get, they don't get given to you on a plate, you have to earn it. Just watch your circle, watch who you hang around with, watch who you be with, be your own boss in it. Don't follow nobody but your family. Mm -hmm.